Good morning, everybody. It's Christian from Strange Education with the four majors and then let's update for the 28th of June 2012. Hi, guys. It's going to be going with four majors, starting with the euro against US dollar. I have my four screen time frame here. It's a long term time frame with the weekly top left, daily top right, four hour bottom left, and the hourly bottom right. Let's have a look and see what's been happening on the weekly. What's been happening this week so far? Well, we've had a slight move to the downside. To start with, however, you can see price is now edging up to the upside on this Thursday. Price is trading on the 50% of the entire wick, can, uh, wick volume. You can see 50% trading is 50% range above that. So hesitation, and um, if you take the the actual high here that we had the sell-off in early May to the lows here in January, you can see that. It's a potential for price to actually close above the 23.6. The two prior weeks we saw price uh, trading lower than the 23.6, but not closing lower. It's only this week over here we've seen price trading below it. Yes, like it did two weeks ago. However, we could very well see close of tomorrow night. On Friday, we could see price re-entering that or, or finding support again above that 23.6 on our weekly. So look at the daily. Let's have a look at the daily. All the moving averages above price. CTC is very, it's still very much red across the board. We have had a slight pullback since. And these are the, the highs here and made to the lows again in early June. 23.6. There you see it. Price has got to be above that. So very, very important that price actually finds um, support above the 23.6 to see any further uh, opportunities for a bounce. Otherwise, what we could see is price failing. You can see. Uh, two consecutive days yesterday and on what was that Tuesday very indecisive small trading range but on the underside of the 23.6 and uh, notice we have our red candle from yesterday so everything is back on for further setting opportunities and as long as 23.6 acts as a resistance level and all the moving averages above price acting as a ceiling then we should be looking for downside momentum so look for failure here Price a nice bearish engulfing candle at the underside of 23.6, just short of the 1250-300 mark. Then we should be looking for downside, and ultimately our first plug would be that these lows that we saw here in June of the 12-300. For our chart, to selling us that all the moving average above price. Notice the institution moving average still very much above price. We've seen a lot of momentum, uh, price failing to actually break above that 12700 and really. Moving forward with it, a lot of hesitation in this area before, and a lot of wicks. Look at that, a lot of indecisiveness. Once price got above it, very indecisive. You wanted a nice bullish engulfing candle to the upside, confirming that the institution on our four hour was looking positive long term. Look at the swing highs on here swing high, swing high, swing high, swing high, swing high, swing, swing higher. But bang, that candle there after the three or 12 hours of indecision. Doji, doji, doji. Bearish, there's my decision candle and price has fallen since. Not very, very quickly, however, moving to the downside. However, <coughs> excuse me, uh, through a large part of it, not able to, to actually close lower than 12.4500 and in doing so, finding a bit of support now through a long period of time over the past. Since the 25th, a lot of support being found now at the 12.4600 mark. So, ideally, if this is to remain. Still negative, you can see the CTC on our four hour is very negative. All the moving edge above price. We want to see this 1245 being breached, the nice bearish engulfing candle. If not, we could see further consolidation, and if that's the case, then we could see price reverting to the upside, reattempting this institution moving average, guys, here, just roughly around the 125500 mark. So, on to good old sterling 5300, major support and resistance on our weekly. There we go. If I just put it in, you can see clearly how many times. Price has pulled back to this level and found support and bounced higher. And you can see it's doing exactly the same thing right now in real time. There we go. So we spent bits of 2010 bouncing on there, bits of 2011, September, October 2011, 2012, January, bang, and May, June of this year. Further support, bouncing higher. So, got to get below that. If you see price getting below that, then it's goodbye for this to at least these levels down here at 14,400, which is a nice, it's a fair drop that, guys. Uh, these are the lows we've seen in May 
of 2010. So that's a long way away. But you can see that on our weekly moving averages, everything's coinciding together. So very indecisive, but still ab above price, acting as a ceiling level. We've had a pullback, but that pullback has been short-lived because if you look at how far that pullback occurred, you'll notice that it failed to actually break above the 50% 50, 50 pullback line, which would have been in line with the institutional moving average of 20 and the 50 here at the 15800. So a lot of resistance above it. And since then, the past two weeks has been or have been very indecisive, failing a very uh, very indecisive last week, and this week we need to see. So doji or spinning top is an indecision candle. We want to see a decision. So if you're trading long term, we would like to see a decisive candle to confirm which way price is heading. If it breaks above the 38.2 here at 1567, then we should be looking for upside towards back towards the 50% line. Otherwise, the other scenario would be a close below the 23.6 here at 15500. Then we should be targeting that 15300 long term. Okay, indecisiveness, we want to see a decision. Bullish or bearish candle will give us our decision and then we trade the decision. So that's the case on our weekly. Let's look at the daily setup. Notice we come from a low. Notice where the institution moving averages above price. So ceiling level here at 1575, which coincides with that resistance level. And if you plot your, your Fib retracement levels from the high in May to the low here in June, Notice 23.6, clear resistance for a while, and then a support, then moving higher. Notice price finally a bit of support above 38.2. However, failing to get above that 50% line of 15,800, which is clearly shown in your weekly chart. Institution acting as resistance, one, two, three, four consecutive days. That bearish engulfing taking us lower. However, price once, twice, three, four, going to a fifth consecutive day of support here, above 23.6 which happens to be just above the 155500 so look at that a lot of support through here guys a lot of indecision it's not really moving with a lot of guts so and the longer it spends more time going sideways the more likely his price is going to build on that but in order to get a genuine build on that it needs to be trading above the 1567 okay that'll make a nice brilliant support here because then it bullish engulfing would confirm this is a nice strong support and then we should be retargeting the 1575, 1500 for the foreseeable future. Failure to get above 38.2 is just going to see price consolidating under this. But this is uh, clearly a, a resistance level because the CTC is telling us we should be looking for negative sentiment. Yes, it's trading sideways, but it's bearish consolidative because it's trading in a downtrend. Notice this. See that? Swing low. It's heading up to this area here. All the moving averages above price acting as the ceiling level. Okay, remember that. All the moving averages above price confirms resistance. All the moving averages below price confirms support. In this case, resistance above us, including that institution moving average above price, resistance. CTC, negative. The only thing that's not in our favor is we don't have a red arrow. Everything else is red. Red candles, red CTC on the other side. The red arrow is missing. Guarantee you, if price had a drop below 23.6, we would get that bearish engulfing which kind of which is what we want because it's indecisive here as i mentioned a weekly we have indecision the okay, our charts we want to see a decisiveness we've got to see a bearish engulfing below 1550 which would confirm that negativity is still in play and we should be looking for downside the other side of the coin would be a bullish engulfing above 1567 and we should be looking for targeting the upside here's dollar swiss frank Good old Swissy, what's she been doing recently? Upside favorites. However, you can quickly see prior resistance here in the January. You can see price actually coming to grips with that and moving into it over the past couple of months. However, un unsuccessful actually finding support here and pushing higher, pulling back. But that pullback, very, very short lived because price was still favoring upside momentum. And you can see over here, for example, heading towards the 23. But failing to break below that 50% line. So 50% pullback of this up here. Profit taking. Now we are reattempting those highs. It's uh, the 9600. Price has to stay above that 9600. You can see on our on our weekly, we have the 20 and the 50%. The moving average is below price. And most importantly, our CTC is still uh, blue across the board. It is still not trading above the institution. So long term, it's still negative. However, this is a consolidative uptrend. Swing high, swing high, swing high. As long as it's trading above 960, then price is more likely to move towards that all-important institution moving average, which coincides with prior support and resistance on a very 
long term see here November December of 2010 prior resistance here at the thousand mark which brings us back towards the institution moving average so on our daily we've got to put 960 in because that's a major support and resistance level so 960 has to go in okay make a nice and dark nice strong line okay so price has to maintain above 960 the longer it spends above 960 the more positive looks out long term if it gets below 960 again then it looks bearish short term okay so very very strong prior support and resistance level notice price actually traded above it but failed to actually move higher once it got above that okay swing low and we ended back going down to the bottom so the lows here in may to the upside at 970 you can see that 38.2 well the 23.6 mark was the actual major support and resistance level look at that then 38.2 then down to 50 price fell to break below the 50 percent line here at 940 building on there one two three three consecutive days of support and then we had a bullish engulfing candle that engulfed all of this sideways motion and we saw price revert to the upside past couple of days we've seen price moving above the 960 again but very very indecisive very very hesitant is probably a word we've had two uh two prior days now we had yesterday's candle and the day before very very small trading range and the wick the open and close very very close to two two spinning tops but most importantly above the 960 as long as it trades above 960 which happened to be prior resistance the ctc will remain blue all the moving edges below price we want to see a bullish engulfing out confirming this is a genuine support now a very indecisive we want to see a decisive candle that decisive candle is bullish then we should be targeting our 975 980 and the 1000 long term if it's bearish engulfing then it's telling us it's still very indecisive and we should be heading back towards or looking at first target back towards the 950 mark for the foreseeable future you look at the hourly chart for this pair see the lows over here down the 940 see a lot of support through there 943 on the hourly notice where the institution moving averages on our hourly below price okay we are moving higher notice where the rsi is trading above the 50 line it's tested it just recently but as I mentioned, you've got to put in that major support and resistance level that we see on our daily, which is the 960. As long as that's plotted in, there we go. Voila. The longer price funds uh, is trading above a major support and resistance level, the more likely support is going to be forged, and we should be looking for upside. Notice the RSI is above the 50. CTC just recently has gone red across the border hourly. However, the RSI is still above 50. Okay, If it's still above 50, it's still positive. If this is to be negativity, it's got to be below, it's got to close lower than 960 on a bearish engulfing hourly candle, close, but the RSI is also going to get below here to tell us it's genuine negative sentiment. The longer it trades about 50, it's still upside positive, and this is a pullback in rear terms. So very, very important. If I was looking for an entry signal now on, on the US dollar Swiss franc, I would like to see a nice bearish engulfing candle on the hourly, getting well below the 960, and the RSI getting below this to confirm that this sell signal is a genuine sell signal on our ctc very very important guys ctc selling us heads up chris there is negative sentiment in this but there's a genuine negative sentiment is it genuinely the big boys out there that are trading is this are they the ones that are really selling into this or is it just people taking profit or well, the small term guys taking profit otherwise i'll stand back wait for a definite confirmation from from our signals and that would be a break below the 50 here on rsr bearish engulfing and trading well below the 960 which happens to be a major support and resistance level last pair of the days you saw the japanese yen let's have a look at that on the weekly see how she's doing very bearish on our weekly start with look if i move out you see how bearish the US dollar has been against the japanese yen however we've had a nice upside move since the early part of january however that's been pulling back recently um, notice the 50 percent line of here this purple line major resistance on this pair you can see quite clearly acting as a ceiling angle for this so you can see the overall trend for this pair very negative if i just draw my trend line just to confirm or show you the overall trend on this you can see very very negative and look at that the ctc bar one particular uh, time frame over here very very negative indeed resistance resistance look at that the ctc beautiful even though we had pullbacks they weren't generally against they were they weren't real positive pullbacks against the overall market which was negative and then recently 
down here in February we had this bullish engulfing candle breaking above a prior resistance here above the 78 a lot of consolidation through here nice little box pattern consolidation there and the breakout and doing so trading above the 20 and the 50 on our, on our weekly and doing so seeing some buying sentiment above a major a trend and now moving higher that movement failed to move any higher than 8400 because that also coincided with a major support and resistance on our weekly guys look at that a lot of resistance here a lot of hesitation is the best word to use at this area so that becomes a major support and resistance level so that has to be a nice dark and bold line on your chart You're looking for those major support and resistance levels another one was the 80 prior resistance and support over here very much a support for april march april may june july of 2011 lots of support through this so that becomes another major support and resistance level see how i'm making a note of all these major support and resistance levels on, our, on my weekly because that will dictate how much momentum i like to see for that week okay so what price is doing this week will dictate what price is likely to do for the following week so you can see quite clearly that price for the past couple months has been trading at the underside of 80 which happened to be a prior long-term support so we had this breakout here in february price moved all the way to a major support and resistance level at 84 then failed to break above it so it was likely to pull back so where's it likely to pull back to a prior support and resistance which is where we came from so that was our first target then we want to see a breakout we want to see a, a bounce here breakout the pullback and then the bounce in the direction of the breakout okay all this notice blue blue mm, still red okay so if we had a bullish engulfing candle on the support at 80 to confirm this is now a genuine new support then price would have hit it towards 80, 84 again and then you would have seen the ctc going blue failure though you can see indecision as we went into the support indecision yet again decision and then two weeks of negativity to the downside back towards the 78 which happened to be prior support and resistance guys a major support and resistance level so that's another dark area at 78 okay you can see quite clearly the hesitation through september october november december january february of 2011 and 12 major resistance liquid price bearish engulfing target major resistance support previously that would have been our first target finding support there now one week of upside moving to the underside of 80 it's important for this to be genuinely long-term positive it needs to find support above the 80 and then you will start seeing the blue arrow the blue candle and the ctc going blue long term but as you can see quite clearly it's still negative weekly ctc is very much negative so we want to see on our uh, daily four hour and hourly that positive is starting to build up now if there's this genuine bounce to the upside it's otherwise all we're seeing is a breakout the pullback and then the continuation and the breakout which is negative okay so on our daily we must put all these major support and resistance levels in so on our daily on the 80 we know that's a major support and resistance level because price hesitated along this area over a number of weeks or months and you can see price is spending more time below the 80 okay if it spent more time above the 80 then it would be positive not so because it happened to be a prior support and resistance okay if it's trading below a major support and resistance level over a period of time then it's negative okay resistance 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 notice just recently a nice fake out breakout and this is the beauty of this, the ctc strategy guys especially if you're looking at you trading the, the the long term we had a bounce over here then we had this candle over here closing if i just move that back closing very indecisive not a very very decisive candle this one but still closing above the 80. okay so great you say well it's a very small trading range and not a, not a lot of um, um, decisiveness went into it so very very skeptical uh, trade however still above a major support and resistance so now you're saying so well if you if you're genuinely happy above this area then give me a bullish candle okay to confirm that you could support and then i will trade you and my first target will be there at 81.50 second target up here somewhere at 83 and then 8400 would be our ultimate goal so Look at the up blue blue but still red all the moving averages below price give me that bullish candle confirm oh blast no so it's all still told me straight away the next day that i was looking for the decisive candle bullish because it's up above here now i want you to see support now so i could 
looked towards 81 and 83 in my first and second target that fell some shadows because the candle came out negative so it's bearish so my first target would be back down here towards the 78.50 line or 7900 now it's trading below that but as long as it maintains below the 80 then my outlook is still negative because it's back below the 80 okay so ultimately we could look back towards this area here at 78.50 as our first target second target back towards the 78 and we know 78 because 78 is a major support and resistance level in the past okay so that could be my ultimate goal would be 78 the longer it spends below 80. okay you can see now we're going into a third consecutive day of indecision and notice where the 50 period moving average now resistance before resistance and could be further resistance notice the ctc on our daily very negative above yes we've got two parts to our strategy which is blue blue but as long as price is trading below the 80 and i'm not trading above it then we should still see the candles going red soon with the red arrow etc and we should be looking for looking for for more than shorting opportunities in this case i'm not looking for buying opportunities i'm looking for opportunities to the downside first target towards the 78.50 second target 78 for the foreseeable future until such time as price trading above 80 i'm looking for nothing more than negative sentiment so we had two consecutive days now of indecision i'd like to see a decision if that decision tells me that there's a bearish engulfing here because it's still finding resistance here and overall, we should be looking for downside, back towards the institution and back towards 78, which was to be a major support and resistance in the past. Don't look for buying opportunities until we're trading above the 80, guys. Very, very important. Okay, that's it for me today. It's been quite a long session, 22 minutes already on the analysis. Let you guys get back to doing what you do best. Just make sure if you're using this strategy, please follow the rules of it. It's very important. And always plot your major support and resistance levels. Trend lines. Get a gauge of what's been happening on the weekly. What's happening on the daily. Where's price trading on a daily compared to where the major support and resistance levels are. You can quite clearly see, see here. Once it's been testing or breaking above, set yourself rules. What price has got to do in order to give you a genuine confirmation signal. You don't want to be faked in any trades, guys. And the CTC helps you that. You see the sentiment even though we're moving sideways it's still negative sentiment because it's not trading above a major support and resistance level okay very important back up with sound money management rules and keep it simple i'll see you first thing tomorrow morning until then trade serenely